When we think of deserts, we usually imagine an endless, desolate area filled with yellow sand that makes it difficult for plants to survive. This extreme environment makes it easy for people to associate it with harsh living conditions. But in the Dalat Banner Desert in Inner Mongolia, China, an incredible transformation has taken place. We raised 1.2 million rabbits in the desert, which not only successfully reversed the process of desertification, but also helped local people enter a prosperous life. In just a few years, this once sandy land was transformed into an oasis full of life and greenery. So, what kind of rabbit can create such a miracle in such a short period of time? It's the story hidden behind this. If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. As we all know, China was once one of the countries with the most severe desertification in the world and has been battling erosive desertification for many years. According to global desertification data in the 1990s, China's desertified land area reached an astonishing 1.714 million square kilometers, accounting for almost one-fifth of the total land area. This number continues to rise over time. After entering the 21st century, China's desertification area is expanding at a rate of 10,400 square kilometers every year. As of 2015, China's desertified land area has expanded to 2.62 million square kilometers, accounting for one-third of the entire country's land area. Faced with such a severe situation, China did not choose to sit idly by. Because China knows very well that actively responding to and controlling desertification is not only its own responsibility, but also a reflection of its responsibility for the global ecological environment. Therefore, China has launched a series of actions and plans to prevent and control desertification. So, what specific actions has China taken to control deserts? Beginning in 1988, the famous Chinese scientist Chen Shuesen made profound criticisms of desert greening strategies. He believes that although afforestation and wind protection and sand fixation alone are important, they are not enough to fundamentally solve the problem of desertification. To solve the desert problem, we should start from the perspective of the development of the entire industry and organically combine grassland, farmland and animal husbandry to achieve true success in desertification control. However, the idea has aroused the interest of many Chinese entrepreneurs. They saw commercial potential in the deserted land and began to turn theory into practical action. Many entrepreneurs have flocked to this once forgotten land to make large-scale investments. They plan to invest up to 750 million yuan to establish a 300,000-acre salix base in the desert, and then promote the greening of 3 million acres of surrounding land. In order to further optimize the combination of desertification control and economic development, Chinese entrepreneurs have begun to search for animal species that can both promote economic growth and assist desert control. After in-depth research, China finally introduced a rabbit from France. First, people were skeptical about whether rabbits could play a role in desertification control. However, when this rabbit was introduced, it soon showed amazing results. Thanks to their natural habits and high reproductive rate, these rabbits not only make significant contributions to dessert greening, but also create considerable economic benefits for local residents. So how does this rabbit manage the desert? As far as I know, the rabbits called Rex hare bred in the desert in China originate from France and are large short-haired rabbits. This kind of rabbit has extremely high requirements for the living environment. They prefer dry and clean living conditions, which makes the dry desert an ideal habitat for them. In the desert, Rex hare shows its unique ecological habits. They are good at digging into the ground in search of grass roots and hay, but are not interested in hard-shelled seeds because their digestive systems cannot handle this type of food. This excavation activity not only promotes the turning of desert soil and increases soil aeration, but also makes the soil softer and richer in nutrients. At the same time, Rex hare's excrement, 
and their undigested grass seeds provide rich nutrients for desert vegetation. All this helps the growth of desert plants, making the plant survival rate reach an astonishing 96% or more. It can be said that the desert is Rex hare's paradise, and breeding Rex hare in the desert is the wisest choice for Chinese scientists. What's more worth mentioning is that this Rex hare not only shows amazing adaptability, but its reproduction rate is 25 times that of conventional animals, and it can breed about 40 baby rabbits a year. So far, China has bred more than 1.2 million rabbits in the desert, making desert management easier. In addition to playing a key role in nature, Rex hare has also become a delicacy on the table, and its rabbit fur is a high-quality material for making high-end clothing, such as fur coats. Salix, a plant that grows in the desert, not only effectively fixes sand and prevents wind, but also provides Rex hare with a nutrient-rich food source. This combination of forestry, grassland, and desert agriculture has created a mutually beneficial and win-win integrated industrial chain achieving the dual goals of ecological protection and economic development. With the expansion of Rex hare's breeding scale, desert vegetation has been significantly restored, forming multiple oases. This not only improves the ecological environment of the desert, but also beautifies the natural landscape. These achievements have led to the governance of China's deserts being selected as a global desert ecological economic demonstration zone by the United Nations Environment Program. By 2021, the area of forestland and grassland in desert areas has increased significantly. The vegetation coverage rate has surged from less than 3% a few decades ago to 84.7%, and the desert has turned into an oasis. Now, Rex hair breeding has become a leading industry for local people with the average annual income of farmers reaching about 20,000 US dollars. It is estimated that by 2025, the number of rabbits raised in China's deserts will exceed 1.8 million. In addition, the diversified industrial chain centered on Rex hare, including ecological breeding and tourism culture, also provides strong support for local economic development. After entering a new era, China has made full use of big data and drone technology in the process of controlling desertification and established the Belt and Road Desert Green Economic Innovation Center. These innovative methods have effectively improved the desert environment, making it a model city for desert management in China. China's continuous efforts in afforestation are not only for the recovery of the ecological environment, but also based on a profound insight into the potential of green economy. This strategy of combining environmental protection and economic development has brought tangible economic benefits to the Chinese people and has also won widespread recognition and praise around the world.